there's no shortage of Indonesian restaurants in Sydney. But sometimes it can be hard to decide which one to pick. So we've decided to do the research for you. In today's video, we'll be showcasing our top 10 favorite Indonesian restaurants in Sydney. So let's get into it. Number 10. Dapur Ibu Alia. Located in the Sydney suburb of Lakemba, this restaurant has authentic Padang style food at very affordable prices. The food was delicious and tasted authentic. And you see, the great thing about Padang style food is you can mix and match what looks good and choose what you want on your plate. We chose gulai, terong balado, and tumis pare on my plate. And kangkung, ikan balado with rendang on Noah's plate. The food was delicious and successfully satisfied our Padang cravings. Probably the only reason this restaurant didn't rank higher on the list was because the serving portions were kind of small and they didn't have much variety in the beverage department. In fact, water was their only beverage available and I think for an Indonesian restaurant not to at least provide the option to have some Indonesian beverages such as te botol or even esturian, it is pretty disappointing. But this one definitely wins for a great authentic padang taste on a budget. Number 9. Rumah Makan Petok Petok. Located in the Sydney suburb of Chatswood, this restaurant is the only one on the list that is actually found within a food court. To get here, you'll need to visit the Mandarin Centre, which is located directly beside Westfield Chatswood. This restaurant is the most convenient on our list. Convenience, meaning other than being located in the center of a shopping mall, also the fact that they're super fast from the time you order to the time the food is ready and on your plate. I'd strongly recommend the nasi goreng gila, which literally translates to crazy fried rice, which is without a doubt the highlight dish from this restaurant. Other than nasi goreng gila, we also had the somai which was delicious. The peanut sauce reminds me of back home in Indonesia. I also ordered the ayam bakar which was good. I added some soy sauce to add some flavor. But the only disappointing part for me was that the sambal wasn't spicy enough. Another great thing about this place is it didn't disappoint when it came to classic Indonesian beverages. We were able to order some Indonesian favorites like es kelapa and es cendol which both tasted absolutely amazing. Number 8 Indo Cafe If we were rating the best sambals in Sydney and making a list, this small restaurant in Belmore would without a doubt be number 1. Their sambal terasi was by far the tastiest I've ever had. Even when comparing to sambal in Indonesia, this one still competes fiercely. It's just perfect. The food is also great and authentic and offers a good variety of dishes to choose from. They're also the only restaurant on this list that actually had Esturian available. Although some of the others advertised it and claimed they had it, we found that they always told us it was unavailable at that time, so we couldn't order it. So it was nice to actually have it available to order for a change. We ordered sayur asam, ayam bakar, and ikan asin, along with nasi padang. The sayur asam was sweeter rather than sour, but the sayur singkong along with the padang sauce was extremely delicious. But I'm telling you, this place is worth visiting for their sambal alone. That's what they do best. So if you do come by this place, don't leave without ordering a side of sambal terasi. Number 7 Shalom. Located in the Sydney CBD near Town Hall, this restaurant is a great choice for those who love variety as they offer plenty of delicious foods to choose from. The Batagor was absolutely delicious and so was the Nasi Padang. The Tongseng also tasted great but in my opinion had too much of a milky texture and feel to it, which was kind of weird and unlike any of the other tongseng that I've tried in the past. But my favorite was the dessert. 
the martabak manis was both mouth-watering and addictive. It's a must-have for everyone who visits this place. I think it actually tastes just as good as martabak in Indonesia. Number 6. The Sambal Also located in the Sydney CBD, this restaurant has plenty of snacks, a great menu full of authentic and tasty Indonesian dishes to choose from, and as the name suggests, plenty of sambal. Since I love my food to be as spicy as possible, the sambal didn't disappoint, satisfying all my spicy cravings and offering a great variety of dishes to choose from. One of my favorite foods ever is gulai kikil, and unfortunately, none of the restaurants in Sydney seems to have it on their menu. That is, except for the sambal. And I recommend the kangkung from this place. Tasted great, and overall, I think this restaurant had a nice vibe, and the food, along with the variety of sambal choices, certainly won't disappoint. If you do plan on visiting, though, just remember to double check their opening hours online because they seem to open and close at odd times with only a few hours window to eat at any given time. Number 5 Willis Canteen Located in the Sydney suburb of Ultimo, this restaurant is famous. And as with all famous restaurants, they get busy. So be sure to arrive early to find a seat or you'll be waiting around for a while like we were. The reason this restaurant gets so busy isn't for their bebek or tahu gejrot which I order by mistake. Because this restaurant famously holds the title of best gado gado in Sydney. Their sambal terasi had a hint of lime to it, which was unique and tasted very nice, especially with the tempeh. But you're right, this restaurant is famous for their gado gado, which is by far the best gado gado in Sydney. The peanut sauce in the gado gado is so authentic. Every bite reminds me of Indonesia and all the ingredients are fresh. If you're not in the mood for gado gado though, they do make a pretty delicious rendang. And since peanut sauce seems to be their specialty, their satay ayam is also very tasty and highly recommended. Number 4 Ayam Bakar Tuju Saudara Located in the Sydney suburb of Penshurst, this place is a real family-run business. Originally established by seven siblings, hence the name Seven Saudara. You really feel the family-run vibe when you come here. You know, it's the little touches, like the complimentary tea they serve you as you take your seat. Obviously, this place specializes in ayam bakar which is a must order if you ever come here. But their satay ayam and soto surabaya is also very yummy. The juicy chicken broth made their soto extremely delicious, perfectly served with a bowl of white rice. Personally, I recommend their satay ayam over their satay kambing. Just because, as is usual with lamb satay, you will need to eat it fairly quickly or it'll become a little chewy. So satay ayam, which is satay chicken, is definitely my dish of choice when you come here. And hey, they gave us a complimentary dessert of mixed fruits also, which was very nice. Number 3 Waru Ita You'll find this Padang restaurant in Lakemba, and it is without a doubt the best place in Sydney for Padang style food. We can't recommend it enough. You can mix and match the dishes you feel like and put them all on your plate and the food is absolutely amazing. The fried fish combined with the sambal hijau was my favorite and I recommend you ask them to pour gulai sauce on top of your rice. It makes everything just taste that little bit better. My favorite was the kale dish. The kale was so soft, juicy and succulent. I haven't had anything like it and we're not even sure what the dish is called. It sort of resembles sayur singkong but made 
using kale rather than cassava leaves. Perhaps because cassava leaves are harder to find in Australia. But nevertheless, that was the highlight dish for me. They also have a good variety of Indonesian snacks. The onde onde was fresh and delicious. We took some home and enjoyed it very much. Number two, Lina's Kitchen. Located in the Sydney suburb of Beverly Hills, this restaurant literally ticks all the boxes. You've got extremely delicious food, good portion size, great atmosphere, friendly staff, pretty much everything you look for in a restaurant. Now this one is actually not as well known as the other restaurants on the list as well, meaning they don't get as busy as the others. They also had a great selection of Indonesian beverages, including te kotak and te botol. This is one of the very few restaurants that offer nasi kuning or yellow rice, which is rice infused with turmeric and coconut milk. I was very happy to find that on the menu. I also enjoyed the ayam geprek, but the best dish from Lina's Kitchen is definitely the ikan sauce padang. It has the perfect amount of sweetness combined with chili and pineapple. Absolutely yummy. And I would agree. One thing you'll realize with this list is each Indonesian restaurant seems to specialize in a particular dish. And with Lina's Kitchen, that's no different. Their specialty dish is ikan saus padang and sayur asam. Both were exceptionally delicious and I would highly recommend that everyone tries both dishes when they come here. Number one. I am goreng sembilan sembilan. Located in Kingsford, this famous restaurant is the most well known in the Sydney Indonesian community. So it's no surprise that it's first on our list, as it's also first on most lists when looking at the best Indonesian food that Sydney has to offer. This can be seen as a negative as well, because it's always very busy. We had to wait about half an hour just to get a table. But the food definitely makes up for the long wait. All the dishes we ordered were very, very yummy. And nak banget. Seriously, I mean, even though we are in Sydney, I can honestly say it feels like I'm in Indonesia when I'm eating there. The taste was as authentic as it can get. Even though the color of the rendang is lighter than usual, I just want to assure everyone that it tastes just as good as original rendang. I was very impressed with this restaurant. From the pepes jamur wrapped in a banana leaf to the ayam bakar, kangkung, rendang, and even mi ayam. Everything tasted great here, and we highly recommend you come check it out. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching our top 10 favorite Indonesian restaurants here in Sydney. I also want to emphasize that every restaurant on this list is the best in Sydney for something. Whether it's the rendang, the gado gado, or the ikan, each restaurant has their own specialty. So in my opinion, all the restaurants on this list are well worth a visit. Just depends on what kind of food you're in the mood for. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite Indonesian restaurants in Sydney are.